Hey guys, it's Scott Free here. I'm going to do a video today, but this video is going to be kind of a little different than any video I've ever done, right? But this video means something a little different and why I've chose to do this, this a series of videos, right? And so I'm explaining it to you. So let me just dive right in. Have you guys ever seen someone that's successful and you're like, man, it just seems like everything they touch just works out. I know I have plenty of times, but what was funny is some people treated me the same way. Like, man, it's like all the stuff you're doing just works out. And I'm like, hmm, it's crazy. So let me just explain to you guys. Let me show you guys something. And it's really important. So here we are in my man cave. But I want to show you guys this. This is my trophy case, right? I know you guys are saying, guys, empty. Yeah, it is empty. But I just got through moving and I don't have everything on there like I want. But there is a trophy up here that I put up here that means a lot to me. And let me explain to you what I mean by that. This is a trophy, and this is something I accomplished. See this? It's called Brown Bad Vodka. So I'm going to tell you what this, the relevance this brand has to this video. So just hold on. Let me put you guys down. And just hold one second. So, guys, here we go. Ain't going to take me but a second. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right, guys, here we go. This is Brown Bad Vodka, right? Took me three years to make it here. Three years. And so when this vodka started coming out, I, I, um, let me just roll back a little bit. When I was working on this, I kept it G14 classified. Cause I was like, man, I can't let nobody know about it. I don't want anybody sabotaging it, trying to come in and trying to, you know, you know how it goes. I've always been taught loose lips sink ships, right? But what's messed up is there's another end of that because a lot of people see your success and they don't see just how hard you've worked for it, right? They only see the ups because we always try to hide it. And you know, some people use that fake it till I make it type deal. Some people just just want to tell you about their success. They don't want to do the doom and, the gloom, the doom and gloom or try to get your um, sympathy. And that's, that's my way of thinking was, let me just show it when I'm done. Well, like I said, it took me three years to get here. But now I'm in a position that you guys will never see this hit the market. And let me explain to you why. Brown Bad Vodka is a play off my name. My name is Jervis Scott Brown. I go by Scott Free. So I branded this like my video production company, Brown Bag Productions. I branded this as Brown Bag Vodka, right? And it's, it's a really good vodka too. It really is. And I, so like I said, I've made this brand. I bought the labels, I got everything out. But as I was going through getting the name trademarked, right? There was, the first time I went through, what was crazy is I didn't find it. We did a quick search and we didn't see it. So I did another search after I got the labels, I got everything done because it gave me, it gave me six months that when you get a name on trademark, you have to use that in, you have to use it out in, um, in the market within six months. So I got everything done, but it just took a little bit longer because you have to have special labels. It's so much stuff that you have to go through to get to this point, right? So when I went back in, I, I, lost, I lost that trademark. So when I went back in to go do it, I found out there was another company that had a trademark. So three years it took me to get here, right? And when I brought this out, I remember telling a few select people as it was coming out and I was going to start uh, promoting it. They was like, man, can you help me? Can you show me how to do this, right? And you're so caught up in it. It's like, man, it took me three years to get here. They're like, what? It took you that long? What takes you so long? And I was like, it's like everything else. You know, I'm a, I'm a realtor. Also, I do a lot of video production. I'm a radio personality, right? I was a realtor. I did real, real estate over the years, right? So I became, I started my own company of a video production company and I got a building and I remodeled it, right? So a lot of people come in and they saw that, and which I'm gonna do some videos on that too. I'm gonna show you all these processes, right? So I opened up my own video production company and when people walk in, they're like, wow, this place is nice. You know, how did you do that? You know, they thought maybe I bought it like that. Some people thought that, you know, the people that didn't see the process. And a lot of people, when they come in, they're so caught up in on, well, you got a lot to give. Why don't you give back? And why don't you cut people deals on, renting your video production company because I rent it out for special events on top of while I'm filming that kind of stuff. So it serves multiple purposes, right? So some people that, that want to, to rent it out for special events, 
which I'll film and stuff like that for them, but the people that want to rent it out, they want discounts, right? That just happens. It happens a lot. But a lot of people just don't see all the stuff you went through. They're like, man, you're so blessed. You should give back. You hear this over and over and over again. And you're like, man, I've had it hard. Yeah, man, everybody says that. So people don't believe you when you say how much of the struggle you went through. So that's why I'm doing this video. And I'm calling this video making a series of videos called Making the Brand. And I'm going to show you, and I'm going to take you through, I'm going to show you some of the ups and downs about accomplishing a goal, whether it's a big goal or a small goal. And I'm going to show you um, some of the hardships that I've had. And it's going to start with this video right here on my brown bag vodka, which is, it's, man, it's such a good vodka. But like I said, I have to start all over. I got to change the name on this. So that means all the labels that I've had, I got to throw them all away. I spent thousands of dollars on labels. So guess what? I got to throw all those labels away. They're, 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 they're worthless. I can't reuse them, any of that. The company that owns the name Brown Bad Vodka, I did reach out to them and I asked them if they'd be willing to sell it, right? Now, this is my first brand. I haven't done a lot of brands before, so this is my first brand. So I don't know how that works, right? So I've asked them, hey, would you, you know, want to sell? He said, well, make me an offer. And I said, listen, I don't want to insult you, but I do want the name if I can use it because it's my last name. And so he really didn't, the company really, the, the, the gentleman I was talking to um, in the company, I guess he was the owner, um, but he was the go-to person to talk to because that's who everybody told me to get in contact with. And when I asked him, he wasn't, he wasn't rude, but he wasn't really helpful, you know, and that's what I've come across on this. When you're trying to do something, one thing that can take a day or two might take you a month or two. And like I said, it took me three years to get to this point. Now I have to start this whole process all the way back over, all the way back over from scratch. But I'm going to take you through the process with me. Plus, like I, like I referred to earlier, that I used to be a realtor. So it taught me how to fix properties up, how to um, flip them, do all that good stuff. And so I'm going to make some videos and show you about my home office, my brown bag production, video production company. I'm going to make a video and I'm going to show you the before and after pictures, which I don't have a lot of videos because it was one of them times it was kind of rough and it was kind of hard to do a lot of that work myself um, and, and um, take videos on it. So that was a real hard process, but I do have a lot of pictures. And then you remember in the very beginning of the video when I said I just moved into this house? Well, through the coronavirus and a business partner of mine that was a family member, we decided to go separate ways which was at the worst time in ever because I had to close my video production company down and starting over and I had to come remodel the house that I'm in. So I had to move, shut my business down. Um, around the same time I heard about this, I was like, oh my God, I gotta start this whole process back over. Then my video production got shut down in May, in March. So I closed that down because it was like, look, you can't have people in the building. You can't film and do some of the things you want to do. So I closed that down as well. On top of that, me and a business partner, we decided to go different, separate ways at the worst time ever. So this property here that I'm at now, I had to remodel that right now. I mean, I had to write, remodel it right then and there. And so I'm going to make a video on that and I'm going to show you the process that I had to go through on this property, right? So it's been a lot of ups and downs, but I could have just put up a video and said, hey, look, I got this, 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 this vodka coming out, but I'm going to change the name and we're going to do it big and we're going to do this. I could have done all that, that stuff. But I want to be real with you guys because I want to inspire some people that might be in my similar situation. You know, it might be some person out there that feels like, man, I don't know which way to go. I don't know what else to do. And that's the same way I've been. You know, I don't know exactly which, which way to go. I've never done anything like this. Someone opened the door for me and gave me an opportunity and I ran with it. And so I started a couple of businesses and then I had another opportunity come up and I'm not one to pass on a great opportunity. So I took it. And so now I have a brand that I can't sell. I can't. I have um, a video production company that I have to figure out how to, um, I have to, um, I, I guess, um, read the, re, re figure out a different way of doing business. You know what I mean? I have to show, figure out a way of, of bringing it back to life. Um, whatever the word is, I'm kind of having a little brain freeze right now, but it's just so much guys. I want to tell you all, but I want to tell you guys, definitely don't give up. 
and don't look at other people's situations like they're they're um they're that God loves them more, the universe loves them more than they love you. Basically, that's what it breaks down to. I don't want you guys to be discouraged because we all time do get discouraged. I've been discouraged on it. And then you just hear these people just smiling and this and just loving life and doing all that. So, but like I said, I got a series of videos coming out and there's, it's gonna be called Making the Brand. Meaning this brand, but Making the Brand is the Scott Free brand and how I'm trying to reinvent myself. That's what I was trying to say earlier. I'm trying to reinvent myself and my businesses too on the fly, right? And so as things are changing up, I got a couple of things that's coming down the pike that's gonna be coming down real soon that I wanna keep you guys, that I want you guys to be involved in and see, right? And I'll be doing those videos and some of them's gonna be live, but I got something coming down the pike real soon. So as these videos start rolling out, stay tuned and make sure you follow, like, subscribe, and share because it's gonna be on all my social media. So if you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, and share. If you're on Instagram, please hit the follow or share it with your friend because it might be something in one of these videos that might be able to help you guys out. And maybe you guys might be able to share some light on this. You know, the conversation can go both ways. So until the next video, guys, hey, man, stay on your grind. And I'll be back in the next video.